Calendula has been grown for centuries and was known as Mary's Gold, which over time changed to Marigold. It was used historically by the ancient Romans and Greeks to make head decorations or garlands for ceremonies, and it's a sacred flower in India. Calendula shines bright and has been used for centuries in cooking for its flavour as well as for its colour. It's known as poor man's saffron since it's cheaper to use than saffron. The vibrant yellow or honey colour from the flowers can be dried to add a dash of colour to soups, stews, casseroles and curries, or for desserts and drinks since the flavour is slightly sweet. It mixes well with other flavours too, such as lime, lemon, vanilla and cinnamon, and can also be added to hot water and steep to make calendula tea. Once it's cooled slightly, you can add a taste of honey to enhance the sweetness. Previously, it wasn't used as a healing herb since it was thought to have magical qualities and was used in rituals to fairies and as a love potion. However, that changed in the 17th century as Nicholas Culpepper claimed it was good for the heart and calendula was added to the list of healing plants in herbalism. It's since been used for treating minor open wounds, burns, cuts and bruises, ulcers, blisters, boils, acne, eczema, sunburn, bikes and stings, nappy rash, mouth infections and fungal infections. Studies have shown that calendula is an anti-inflammatory and is effective in treating radiation dermatitis that can occur during and after cancer treatment. The oil is made from the flowers and used in creams, ointments, balms, lotions and capsules. The essential oil has been described as woody, musky and strong so it's best not to use it if you're pregnant. A few drops of calendula essential oil added to a carrier oil such as olive oil or coconut oil makes a perfect foot massage in aromatherapy for softening rough skin and calluses and also with swelling and scar tissue. Calendula is easy to grow and loves plenty of sunlight and a well-drained soil. It brightens up flower beds in gardens and makes a lovely floral display, even in a pot or container. They attract butterflies and other pollinators with their bright colour and aroma, making them truly bewitching and worthy of the name Mary's Gold. <laughs>